my name is Kabibi. This is like my first video, talk, sit down, talk video since coming back from Mexico. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kabibi. At the moment, I'm still honestly figuring things out with my channel. I'm actually planning at the moment what I see for this channel. But I just thought in the meantime, with all of that stuff going on, I thought to do a sit down video, just really quick, little five minutes do's and don'ts of Coco Bongo. I recently went to Mexico in June 2022, so very recent trip for me. First trip since COVID kicked off as well. I still have my glow from Mexico, which I think is just about there um, because I'm having less trouble with foundation now, so I think my skin is going back to grey. One of my major nights out was Coco Bongo, it's obviously well known. It's a staple thing to do in, in when you go to Mexico. And when I was doing my own research, I thought I could, couldn't really see much on it. So that's why I'm, I thought to do a little video on like maybe the do's and don'ts. Of course, this is just a guide or a bit of advice. I thought it would be a bit helpful for those that might be going to Mexico to get kind of an idea about what, what it is like and what should you look out for, what should you do ahead of time. There's three Coco Bongos. You've got one in Punta Canta. You've got one in Playa del Carmen and you've got another one in Cancun. I went to the one in Playa del Carmen. It was a vibe, it was vibe. A very cheesy vibe, but it was a vibe. So what is Coco Bongo? It is essentially a nightclub. However, I wouldn't fully say it's a nightclub. I would say that Coco Bongo cleverly ties together some different aspects of other entertainments to make it more than just a nightclub so you've got the theater aspect of it you've got the karaoke aspect of it which is a lot of there's kind of a good few singers sing-alongs there classics you know um and then obviously you've got the bar restaurant side of things which is not essentially a restaurant because of course when you sit down um which i will go into a bit more detail you're sitting down and you're eating so you've got that kind of aspect of things as well but it's definitely great entertainment night um and but it's not just a nightclub let me just get straight into this so coco bongo itself we had um gold premium tickets so that was about 114 pounds do i think it was worth it no i don't i don't think it was worth it when i because i when i saw the tables and it's recommended from all the ticket scouts and stuff i'll go for the premium we went via tui tui sorry and um they they were kind of like yeah you know great guy that we spoke to and of course i don't get anything from them selling you something at a higher price and it's not a commission-based role they have they said oh you know it's more popular to go for the gold premium because me and my girl we got flat feet so we were we weren't trying to be you know having our feet ache all night in agony really having our night ruined so we went for the gold premium just because of the seating um, side of things we just thought that we wanted to kind of it's best to play it safe with having a seat to sit down on we don't know how the thing was set up of course we saw the map the um the map that lays out the whole stage and stuff like that which they do show you to show how it's set out um so we didn't want to take any chances but now that we've i've done the experience i'm like was it worth it not no 114 pounds no <laughs> i'm sorry it was overpriced definitely overpriced um so i would recommend going for the uh, there's the the ninety dollar ticket, uh, which probably works out to about maybe seventy five pounds or something. Um, I would recommend that simply because I couldn't see anything anyway. Your seat is not guaranteed when you are. So you you have a seat, but in terms of where you're seated, it's not necessarily. We were sat sat anywhere. Obviously, we've had other gold premium members, uh, uh, visitors around us, but it didn't seem like there was allocated seating with our names on, which there wasn't. So my, my, my table's quite crappy and it's a very long table as well that you get. It's not a table, it's just you and your person or your party. And I had an idea of my mind that it was gonna be like a round circular table. We were just gonna be sat there, the show was gonna be there. We were just gonna be like nicely eating our stuff. No, it wasn't like that. It was like a, it was like a, a pub long table or something like that. Long table, so you had the bar stools all going across there. So obviously there's, manners of people different manners of people are sitting along with you basically i couldn't see the stage at all it was at the kind of the i think we were at the top maybe um 
I think there's maybe one more level above us. I had the bar just behind me um, on my floor, but I wasn't really happy with my seating. I was, really wasn't happy, to be honest. To be honest, I did start kicking off a bit, but you know, that's another story. Um, <laughs> I still stayed in my seat at the end and I just kind of got used to walking around the actual, um, when the show was going on, walking around and not staying stuck in my seat. But even still, I paid my big 114 pounds um, to basically, it was, it was kind of wasted because I could not see the activity down the stage, which is obviously, you know, it's the main, that main stage there where everyone's dancing. And then also obviously you've got the stage, the real stage as it were, then you've got the mini stage, which is for us attendees that are going. So I would honestly recommend getting a $90 ticket. And that leads me on to my next point as well. So if you're going, like, make sure, me and my girl, once again, we didn't have good attire on. Like, we were dressed, like, if you didn't know this, black people like to typically dress up. We we weren't dressed right. We weren't dressed, for, we, didn't, we didn't understand the assignment when it came to dressing. Um, so, you know, we were in our party dresses, as it were. But you had to be there casually dressed, which was cool, because it didn't seem like it had really a dress code anyway. And they still fit in it, whatever you wore you fit in because there was it was clearly there was no dress code um but they were comfortable and that's another thing but they were comfortable night we brought our heels as well um we thank god brought backups as well we did bring our flats but even still we didn't need to bring the heels at all it was just um, it was just totally unnecessary so don't do an us <laughs> if you are looking to go coco bongo I would honestly say, you know, little smart casual something. If you're a guy, maybe jeans and a little, you know, little t-shirt, little shirt. It, it really, it's not that deep. It's clear, it's not that deep. And I think most people come out to have a good time. It's not really about what you're wearing. This isn't one of the posh clubs in in um, in Mayfair. This is this is Coco Bongo in Mexico. It's hot. It's humid, and people just want to party. So. That's what I would say. Yeah, with that said, I'm gonna move on to my next point. But another don't is don't bring big bags. Just like I bought my, okay, I bought my little beach bag. Okay, it was it was smallish. It was it was one of those that have got no structure to it. So it's small if you want it to be small, and it's also big if you want it to be big. <laughs> but I bought that because just because I had obviously all my backup stuff, and I don't really travel light anyway. I'm really really trying to work on the traveling light in general um i'm always always got the backup options and the jean jackets and that you know i i don't know it's just how i i think it's because i'm always driving around as well typically when i'm in the uk and so but it's just it's a hard habit to break but i would honestly say just take your little clutch bag and your cool you don't need to bring any big bags because i had to leave my big bag i had to start separating the stuff i had and kind of just have my little bag uh, take my little clutch bag out and then you know leave my big bag with all my other things they didn't they wasn't happy with me bringing it inside um to sit down so and i understand that it was fine you know it wasn't a massive deal um but i would honestly say just travel light just travel light if you're going just travel light but another thing is um yeah if you're going to get on the podium so what happens in coco bongo is as I, it's kind of like, it's a, it's not a talent show necessarily, but it's kind of like you as the audience, you as someone going, uh, uh, you know, someone that's paid for their ticket, you can become a star that night. Like, um, they have a camera that basically roams around. So everyone will be seen, you know, it's not, if you're, if you're, if you've got a real issue with being seen, it's probably best you don't go because the camera just it mills around. I, don't, I couldn't see where the camera was, strangely. I was trying to look for it. Um, and it's like, then you show up on the projector screens. There's big screens in there. And um, everyone is, yeah, having their moment. I don't know, I had a guy, like there was a guy that got like, took, like, I don't, I don't understand why. <laughs> what? I don't understand what was going through his head. He might've been, probably been drunk, but you know, he was actually, using his his spotlight time to you know show us his bum and i'm just like okay cool um and then he was maybe gonna start showing us his girl's breasts as well and thank god the camera came off at that point i was just i was like i don't know what's going on over there but um yeah <laughs> they're doing too much um so yeah there's a lot of people dancing they have dance offs as well which is really cool so one maybe part you know one couple over here or one side of the room and another and then on the screen it says like verses and so you're made to do a dance dance off 
and there's a little winner that is um i don't think there's any prizes but there's a little winner that's selected so that's really fun that's really cool one thing i would say though with regards to like if you are trying to like really do your you know dance the night away and you don't care who's watching you and everything else if you do get onto the stage or podium um so there's a main stage main podium area which some people came to dance including my girl natana she did her thing i might just leave a little video here she's also in my little vlog so watch this vlog here as well i'll just do that but she 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 did her thing um but once again because she wasn't in the right attire necessarily um she was very careful when you know, when she was like kind of doing the whole twerky thing she was she didn't really want to show of course she didn't want to show up her knickers and stuff like that um but then the air there's an like an air what is it air flute air air shoot um so that you know they just pump air from that from the place of down underneath the stage and it comes up but if you're wearing a, an attire that is not obviously fitting for that such as a flowy dress or something like that you're going to be exposed and probably on TikTok for next day. So I would really recommend, like, if you're going to do all of that stuff, just make sure you've either, you know, you've got your hands in place already to force, like, to anticipate that happening to you possibly, or just wear clothes that are going to be, you know, fitting for your, you are trying to have your Mag Megan Thee Stallion moment. So that's what I would say about um, that is, uh, yeah, that happens and just beware, beware, be very aware. <laughs> and it's not a don't, but it's just a kind of, um, little heads up. Food is trash. It is trash, like, cheap. Don't expect any kind of gourmet meals, steaks going around. If you once again pay for the gold member ticket or the VIP, it's gonna be none of that. It's gonna be cold chips, um, there was hot dogs. I mean, they could have done better on the food, to be honest. I just think people are paying a hell of a lot of money. Um, it's the very least that can be done is at least hot fries, you know, just fresh hot fries, fresh hot burgers, whatever it is, burgers, hot dogs. I just think that's the least that they could have done. So I, I didn't really have any food. So that once again, that wasn't a value for my money because I didn't eat at all really because the food was trash um so that was that and then the drinks they're unlimited as well they came thick and fast i would say don't leave your drink unattended because there's so many people kind of going back and forth um obviously it's basic anyway you don't you don't do this even when you're in london or you know your home country um bars they say it all the time you know watch your drinks and stuff like that but i would say in particular because there's so many people and so many people are able to go up and down and you know you just you cannot afford to leave your drinks. Do not leave your drinks at any point. If you do leave them, don't go back to them. So don't come back to your drink, get another one. That's what I would advise if you do leave your drink. Um, yeah, I'd advise that. And I would say, do have a good time. Just turn up, turn up. Like not to the point of obviously, you know, obviously people do what they wanna do, but yeah, and you don't have to get, what I've learned is you don't have to get stupid wasted to have a good time and being wasted anyway what's the point because you're not going to remember it you know mm. but um i would say just have a good time turn up and i just felt that everyone even around us were just everyone was on a good vibe you know everyone just came out to have a good time of course we were mostly all tourists anyway um and so everyone just wants to have a good time um there's a few people we got talking to as well there was like little sing-alongs as we were on the way back to our bus there were little sing-alongs as well. Oh, I wanna know if you be my girl. You know, there was that going on. So yeah, I would just say have a good time, but it's definitely worth going Coco Bongo. It's one of the staple things to do in Mexico. I don't know which one you're looking to go to. Let me know which one you're looking to go to. If it's Cancun, Playa del Carmen or Punta Canta. Um, and let me know if you do go to the other ones that I didn't go to, how was it for you? and if there's anything i've missed as well also put that down in the comments as well but i just wanted to do a little video because i have noticed how ha, how many views my coco bongo video has got in such a short space of time i thought it might be helpful to do a video of this nature as well so yes guys i hope you found this useful and if you are on your way to mexico have a good time senoritas and senors
Okay, so thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate the little subs, even as little as I am as a channel right now. I do appreciate it. Mwah.